In this video, we're gonna walk through nine simple sign language signs that you can use to get you and your baby communicating faster. Hey, it's Morgan here with Passable Parent, where we help you improve developmental outcomes for your child and find the joy in parenting. I've been a pediatric nurse for the past 10 years, specializing in early childhood development. Also a new mom. Before we get started, please don't forget to like and subscribe. So let's jump into it. The nine simple signs that you can learn and teach your baby so that the two of you are able to communicate sooner. Research shows that sign language will speed up your baby's language development and that your baby will be talking sooner if you can start implementing sign language. This is because your baby is unable to communicate with you. Imagine if you were living in a world where you could not speak and you could not understand the language that was being spoken to you. That would be a very frustrating experience. That's exactly what your baby is feeling. They can't communicate, so they become frustrated. Sign language is a great solution to that problem. When your baby isn't frustrated and able to better communicate their needs, there's more learning happening. Babies are able to express themselves before they are able to form words. So they can express themselves with gestures before they develop the skills to be able to speak. That's why sign language is so important and it's super beneficial if you as the caregiver can use sign language to better understand your baby's needs. Being able to understand your baby's needs and have some level and form of communication also increases parent and caregiver bonding. Research shows that sign language can also lead to your child developing a better vocabulary and being able to spell better. Research also shows that learning sign language also leads to less behavioral problems in your child later on in life. This is because your child will learn how to express themselves sooner. Studies show that sign language also uses the right and the left side of your child's brain. Your child hears the words and processes the phrases using the left side of their brain. Your child learns the gestures and the movements of signing with the right side of their brain. This is very important because learning how to use both sides of your brain actually helps you in development in all other areas of life. You can start signing to your baby to teach them sign language between the ages of five and six months old. Now remember, your baby may not be able to start signing back to you until the ages of seven to eight months. And when babies first start signing back to you, it won't look exactly like the sign that you see and that you learn. It may be an approximation. And we'll go over that a little bit later in this video. Before you start teaching your baby fun signs such as colors, you want to start with functional signs. That's to help your baby better express their needs. The first sign is eat. Would you like something to eat? Would you like to eat? Would you like to eat? And then you go up to your mouth, eat. And you want to also say at the same time, you want to verbalize what it is you're communicating, eat eat. And this helps your baby start to also learn different words and associate them with the sign. So this helps use that right and the left side of the brain by also using expressions and by speaking out the sign. The second sign I'm going to teach you today is drink. You basically want to mimic your hand as if you're wrapping it around a cup. So you keep your thumb out and those four fingers and you sort of make a C with your hand. Would you like something to drink, to drink, to drink? The next sign I'm going to teach you today is a sign for milk. Milk. Would you like some milk? You're taking your hand and you're going in a rotational motion and you're just squeezing. Milk. The next sign I'm going to teach you today is more. So your baby can use this if they would like more to eat, if they want to do something and they would like more of it, this is the sign for more. 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 Would you like more? Would you like more? The next sign that I feel is essential to teach your baby is the sign for all done. This can be used when your child is all done reading a book, when they are all done their meal, when they are all done playing with a toy. 
You can use this sign in all different applications. All done? Are you all done eating? Are you all done? You all done? All done. The next sign that is great to learn is a sign for help, help, help. Keep your palm flat and you make a thumbs up. Help, help. The next sign, which is really nice to learn for your child, is thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your help. Keep your hand like this. Touch your chin and forward. Thank you. The next sign, which I feel is essential because I am a nurse specializing in early childhood development, is the sign for book. I think books are one of the greatest gifts you can give to your child and that the ability to be able to read and to write is one of the greatest gifts you can give your child because at that point you can learn just about anything. So the sign for book, you're going to take the two palms of your hands sort of in a prayer position, okay? And book, book, book. Would you like to read a book? Would you like to read a book? The final sign that I'm going to teach you today is a sign for sleepy or tired. So you're gonna take your hands into the prayer position for the next sign, which is tired or sleepy. So the sign you then take up to the side of your head and you're going to tilt your head. So you're gonna say, I'm tired. I'd like to go to sleep. I'd like to go to sleep. So when your baby first learns to sign, it's important to remember that again, their signs might just be approximations, meaning they're not gonna look exactly like the signs that you're teaching them. They might look a little bit different. So it's important to keep an eye out for that. For example, my child for the sign milk, which is again, like this, milk, he started going like this. He wasn't, he wasn't doing that refined in front of your chest movement. He was doing this, which I knew was milk because it was right around the times of his feedings. So it's important to keep in mind that these signs, again, might be approximations. Book might look, you know, something like this, where they might not be moving their hands, that, that nice movement. Drink or eat might look very similar because it takes some time to learn those fine motor skills to really make uh, the motion of like a C with your fingers and your thumb. So just keep in mind, it might be, you know, looking more like this for drink and that might be confused with eat, but it just, it helps alleviate a lot of frustrations because then at that point, you know it's one or the other. So again, just keep an eye out for it. Really, if you start teaching them between five and six months, around seven, eight months, they really start to trying to sign back to you. So keep your eye out for it. It might just be approximations, but I just wanted to also, you know, put that disclaimer out there. Don't get discouraged. It builds to it. And then once it builds to it, it's like something clicks in your child's brain and they really start signing. And every baby's different. So every baby's stages of development are a little bit different. I know sometimes as caregivers, it can be hard not to compare our child to other children, but you know, every child, again, moves at their own pace. So, you know, when they start, it starts clicking for them, might look a little different. It's really great once it all clicks and you're able to better communicate with your child. That is the nine signs that are simple and easy to start learning to use to start communicating with your baby. Again, research shows how much that can help with your baby's brain growth, their vocabulary, behavioral issues later on down the line. It, it helps with them being able to express themselves to you. Your baby being able to express themselves and not being frustrated helps you better bond with your baby. You can spend more enjoyable time together where you can understand each other and help better understand and meet your baby's needs. So I really encourage you and any other caregivers that help do the care for your child to learn these nine simple signs. It really, really helps with brain growth and it really helps the bond between child and caregiver. If you're interested in learning more signs to use with your baby, I'm also going to link down below in the description box some good beginner sign language books to start with to learn more sign language signs. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that these signs are helpful. Before you go, please don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss out on any notifications or any of the content coming soon. Thanks again. See you next time.